Hey everybody, what's going on? Jimmy is Promo here back again with another awesome video. And in today's video, we will be talking about the top 10 hidden features of Samsung One UI. Now the Samsung One UI is the brand new user interface that comes with the Samsung Galaxy devices when you update your phone to Android 9.0 or Android Pie. Now, if you are brand new here at the channel of Jamia's Promo and you own a Samsung Galaxy device, you might as well just take a moment just to hit on that subscribe button, as well as the bell for notifications to get notified for future videos. And don't forget about that playlist tab on the very top. Check out all the videos I made for the Galaxy Note 9, the S9, the S9 Plus, the later models, and this brand new playlist, which is referred to as Samsung One UI. Hidden feature number one is a way that you're able to lock your home screen layout. So if you have your home screen set up the exact way that you would like them to stay, you have no reason to move any other icons around. You don't have to move any icons from your application tray back over onto the home screen. Or maybe you have a son or daughter or a friend or somebody who's just kind of going through your home screens and moving things around, but you like the way that you have it set up. You are able to put it down on lockdown. If you press and hold anywhere on any home screen that is empty with no icon, once you press and hold, it'll take you to the screen. The other way you can do this is by doing a simple pinch to zoom on any home screen. Then you're able to have the option over here called home screen settings. Now inside of the home screen settings, you'll look at this option right here, which is called lock home screen layout. And then this is a way that you're able to lock it down. So you can see I'm pressing and holding. I can get application info and also I can check out some of my gallery. So really it's just a way that you're able to go through some of these shortcuts of Facebook and really everything else, but you're not really able to press and hold and add anything to a home screen. Um, it basically moves it still within the application tray. Um, but if I press and hold and I try to move something, you really did lock down that home screen. Now, now, if you need to make any changes, maybe you just downloaded a brand new application, you find it to be completely helpful, it's super simple. Just press and hold anywhere that's empty, hit the home screen settings, turn off that lock screen layout. Now you're able to go right on back. You can add this app in there again, and then you'll be able to go right back over through here and you can lock it again. And then this way you don't have any issues with these things moving around. Um, it's set up again the exact way you would like it to stay. Hidden feature number two is a way that you're able to still use your always on display, but at the same time, save your phone battery. Now the always on display is a screen right before the lock screen. This is a screen that allows you to see what is the time, uh, what is the dates, what is the notifications that you have. But you can see right now, mine is just a blank black screen until I give it a little simple tap and then it's gonna show the always on display for just about 30 seconds. So then this way I can see what was the notification that just came through, what is the time at this moment in time. It's a way that I still am able to use always on display, but save a lot of battery. To turn on this feature, you wanna pull down the notifications panel, click on the settings icon, and you're gonna scroll down to where it says lock screen. Now inside of lock screen, you're gonna see the option here for always on display. And when you tap on that option, you're gonna see this piece right here that says display mode. And when you tap there, you have three options. You can do tap to show, you can have it always show, or you can have it on a schedule. And if you like to set the schedule, maybe you want it to work from maybe uh, 9 a.m. all the way till 5 p.m. Or in this case, I really want to save on battery this time. My past devices, I've always had it shown, even though I love this feature, but this is a way that I can still use it by doing a simple tap, and I don't have to lift up the phone just to see notifications. If I want to see the time, see who texted me, simply tap the screen, and I'm good to go. Hidden feature number three is a feature that is called Lift to Wake. Now this is a brand new feature that comes with the Samsung One UI, and it's probably one of my favorites because it makes it super convenient and easy and fast to simply unlock my phone with my facial recognition. So first off, let's talk about how you're able to enable it. When you pull down the notifications panel, you'll click on the settings icon, and this is where you scroll down to where it says advanced features. Inside of advanced features, you're going to go down to where it says motions and gestures because you are lifting it to wake the screen. Now, this is the option on the very top. Once you have this one toggled on, what will happen is that let's say that your screen is turned off like this. What will happen now is that if you lift your phone, it'll actually awaken the screen. So then this way, it'll start now reading your facial recognition to get your phone unlocked. Hidden feature number four is talking about the screen rotation icon. So what I'm talking about here is that when you pull down the notifications panel, you check out all of your quick settings, you have the option of auto rotate. Now, if you turn this off because maybe you accidentally have your phone rotating when you don't want it to be, maybe you're laying down in bed and you don't want it to rotate as you're also laying or switching positions, you're actually able to have this one turned off. But what was added with this little uh, Samsung One UI update is let's say that I now move over and I just tried to change the orientation. 
what you see pop up is going to be the small little gray icon over here. And then once you tap on that, it allows you to have it rotate in the way that your phone is pretty much being held or laid down. So another example is, let's say that we go back over into my home screen. I try to lift this one up which, you know, obviously if I'm holding onto the phone, it's going to pretty much turn automatically. You're going to see that little icon. So again, you'll also see this with inside of YouTube. So if you're going through here, you're trying to check out some videos. You also change your little uh, layout here. You go out trying to go to horizontal. You're able to press a button and then it will change because maybe you are laying in bed and you don't want it to auto rotate. Um, and let's say that maybe you lay down and you're like, oh, glad. I'm so happy that this did not rotate with me because I still want it to be in portrait mode. So this is just one of those nice little updates that happen. A lot of people don't really know exactly what is going on with that small little icon, but that's because you have the auto rotate off. So this way, when you're actually holding the phone, it's going to auto rotate this way when you do have it enabled. And then when it is disabled, which I just showed you here from right before, this is a way that pretty much stops it from accidentally rotating when you don't want it to. And when you do want it to rotate, simply hit on that little gray button. Hidden feature number five is talking about multi-window. Now, the way that you're able to run multi-window has changed just a little bit inside of Samsung One UI. So if this is not a hidden feature, this one's more or less a tutorial portion of this video. So let's say that you wanted to use YouTube, you're watching some YouTube videos, but then somebody sends you a text message and you would also like to check out those text messages as well. Well, if you pull up the recent apps and then you tap on that icon of YouTube, you have the option here of open in split screen view. It'll take you back to your home screen. This way you can open up the application you would also like to use. So then this way you can watch your video as well as respond back to your friend. And really when you're watching some of these videos, it's not going to take up too much, you know, with this keyboard and taken away from your video, but it's a way that you're able to do both at the same time. If you'd like to get out of it, I pretty much swiped up on my home button and then I hit on X to get out of the multi view portion. Hidden feature number six, we will be talking about the keyboard and there's actually two features I'd like to show off. So I'll do a two in one inside of this keyboard. The first one is talking about the modes. So if you see this down arrow inside of your keyboard, you'll see the option for modes and you can see where you have the standard keyboard. You also have the one handed keyboard and you can set it up for either left handed or right handed. You can still expand it with those two little arrows, but let's say that we go back inside of modes. You also have the floating keyboard. So some of these is really not technically new, but they're set up and located in a different area. So then this way you can still pretty much float this thing around and still talk to your friends. Um, if you hit the down arrow, go back to modes, you can put it back to standard. And the very last thing I want to show you here inside of the keyboard will be the keyboard size. This is where you can change how large, how small you would like it to be. And again, this was before inside of settings in a different spot, but they made it super easy to use. Now, the second portion of the keyboard I wanted to show you is the emojis. Now, the emojis has updated almost kind of like emojis 2.0. Um, there is a lot more uh, details that comes inside of the emojis um, and they also got just a little bit larger so you can see them a little bit better. And also you'll notice that when you go through your emojis and everything else, you'll scroll up and down with the brand new Samsung One UI, but in the older version, you will be swiping left and right. Now, the nice thing is that they still included all the different tones of all these different emojis so you can change which other tone you would like to use. Uh, it just happens to be that over here it uses a blue dot and it's only because I'm using the dark mode because blue will be a lot easier to see than the previous color. This one has a little bit of a gray dot. Now, when you go through some of these, it's actually pretty fun just to check out what they have changed um, by looking at all these pigs and dogs and cats. And this fox looks quite a bit different. Um, and also when you go through here, let's say that we just go really fast. The watermelon has completely changed. Uh, the way that the grape looks, you can actually see the grapes um, all bunched together. This one just looks like a, a mesh, <laughs> a, a uh, more soft version of pretty much grapes. And also too, the, the cheeseburger has completely changed. So it really looks just like like a cheeseburger in real life versus something that you know is like a little bit of a Krabby Patty. So as you go through some of these, you'll notice that some of these have been updated and they actually look quite a bit better and a little bit more detailed. Hidden feature number seven is a way that you're able to add your schedule to your always on display. So beforehand, you're able to put in your calendar and different clock styles and, and time and colors and a whole bunch of different things, but you weren't really able to have your schedule, which is literally listing out everything that you have scheduled and written out in something that is super easy to read that's super convenient. 
if you go inside of your settings, you're gonna go down to where it says a lock screen. And instead of the lock screen, you're gonna go down to your clock style and it'll ask you, do you want it to be your clock style for the always on display or the lock screen? This one will go to the always on display. And as you scroll through these, all of these will be pretty much the exact same ones as you've seen from before. And right next to the, the little GIF option and also right next to your calendar will be this one right here, which is showing you your schedule. And you can see pretty much how convenient that could be. And then inside of here, you can change the color of pretty much whatever color you want it to be. You hit on done. And then now when you go back to your always on display, and again, mine will show up when I do the tap to view. Now you're able to check out your schedule. Hidden feature number eight is a small one, but I actually found it to also be a little bit easier to go through the settings of particular applications in a full list form. So instead of going into a particular app and then going through the settings and going back and forth, um, let me just show you what I'm talking about. If you go inside of your settings, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll down to where it says apps, this will show you the entire list of all of your applications, but as you scroll down, you're gonna actually notice the settings icon is in this screen here. Beforehand, you would have to go inside of the application to see the settings icon, and then this way you'd be able to change some of the settings. So this is just one step easier, one step less that I would have to do. I would hit on the settings icon, and inside of here, there is one thing I do want to show you that was hidden and brand new with this update that I didn't notice until just now. Maybe it's there from before, but this right here, you can show the week numbers on your calendar. Now, for somebody like me, I, I with my job, I go through the different weeks and I like to know what week number we are on. And so when you go inside of the calendar, now when you check everything out over here, you have week seven, week eight, week nine, week 10, and it just goes on and on and on. So then this way, you know exactly what week you are a part of, how many weeks is left. So it does scrunch the days together just a little bit more, uh, but it's a way that you're able to check out the weeks of the calendar. Again, let's go back inside of the apps. And this is really what we're talking about here, which is going to be the settings icon. So if we look at another one, here is the settings of the camera. If you wanted to change anything right now, you are able to without having to go into the camera and then go through the settings. So as I mentioned from before, you have every single setting of many of these applications that you're able to just go through, check out the settings and make any changes that you need to. Hidden feature number nine is a way that you're able to customize your gallery. You can change the order of your albums and how they're listed. So it's a little bit easier for you to find for the, the albums that you check out the most. So inside of your gallery, you have you know pictures and albums, stories, everything that's shared. But when you look at your albums, maybe you wanted to have the album artwork just a little bit larger. You can do a simple pinch to zoom by making them bigger or smaller. Also, if you wanna find things really fast, anything you favorited will show up right there any of your videos, you can have it show up right there again. But when you're in this list form right here, this basically the smallest form of your little albums, if you do that pinch to zoom, what it allows you to do is you can either group some of these together, you can also delete them, or you can change the order of how they show up on your phone. So if you press and hold here, you can move this one up. I'm gonna put hit, pretty much hit on or pull up on that back button. You can see now my camera album is now on the very top because maybe I always check that folder more than any other folder. Hidden feature number 10 is a change or an update with inside of the Samsung One UI, which is showing you pretty much all of your internal and external storage. So if you go inside of your settings, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna see the option that is called device care. Now this used to be called device maintenance, but it's a way you're able to pretty much care for your device. And the one I wanna show you today is inside of storage. Now, once inside of storage, this will read everything that you have. You can clean everything out. It can show you how much you're using of that SD card. Well, on the very top, you can check out your storage analysis. And inside of storage analysis, you can go down, you can see if anything is duplicated. So then this way, you can delete some images to bring back some of your storage. Here's a large file. So if you're trying to get rid of things to free up space, which in these phones today, you really don't need to do that with a lot of the phones having either 64 gigs internal uh, as the minimum. And as of lately, uh, 128 gig is the minimum devices that you are able to use. Um, but you can see some of the stuff that is also unused. So you can see the large things, the things that are unused and get rid of. And then also too, if you swipe here, if you have an SD card in there, this will show you all the details for this one as well. 
So I hope that you guys have liked this video. This one was just covering the 10 hidden features of Samsung One UI. Stay tuned for some more and future videos where I'll actually go through just the navigation of things, um, everything that is brand new. You know, what is the 13 things that was brought to the table that is brand new with the Samsung One UI? We'll talk about night mode. We'll talk about all these different gestures you can use, talk about how you can bring these buttons back and everything else. But for this video, this has been everything that you need to know in terms of the top 10 hidden features of Samsung One UI. Again, if you guys like this video, give this thing a huge thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit on subscribe. You can subscribe right over here on the very bottom left hand side. Hit that little red circle. Share this video with your friends and family and social media sites. Also, write a comment of your favorite feature you learned today. And other than that, I'll see you guys later.